Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mix Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So I have the brand new release from Daisy May Designs and this is called The Village Bakery and it's very, very sweet. So I'm going to get straight into it. So we have this one here, first of all, and this is the Celebration Cake Stamp Set. And you can see you've got your like, traditional looking glass sweet jars and they're on like a wooden shelf and you've got these really pretty little kind of I guess napkins hanging down you've got this box of chocolates in the shape of a heart and you've got your sentiments there chocolate makes everything better you're so sweet and hope you have the sweetest of days and then you have the dies there which will cut out the two main images so the sample that I've made using that one is this little box here and some of you will recognize the box because it's the same box that I used when I made the dome or the um, the barrel topped gift bag recently but I just I've kind of gone down the, the route of packaging for my samples for this collection because I just think it shows it off really nicely now the papers are also Daisy May and these are older these are from this is her sunshine flowers but the papers work really well you know especially when I'm using the colors that I have there but I thought with this one here you can fill it with sweets just as I have been done with my you know tutorial that I've done making this but and I'll actually link that here as well in case anybody's interested but you just lift the velcro up here it's a nice strong acetate box and then inside you've got the you know the paper there which matches the bow which I've made on the top but if I just bring up the image closer there you can see I've used glossy accents to cover the glass jars um, it just you know it's got a nice feel to it but it also I think just you know adds something there and then I've just you know I've colored everything with colored pencils as well within this um, with all these samples but I thought that was just a nice way to show off that stamped image so that's the one I've done there and then we've got this one which is coffee time stamp set so it's coffee and a friend makes the perfect blend you've got your takeaway cup and you've got your coffee cup how um, yeah how have you been <laughs> life happens coffee helps and then you've got a croissant there and the spoon with the sugar cubes and again you have dies to cut those out so the sample for that one is this cute little gift tag that I've made and again you can see it's all coloured with coloured pencils and I've just used some glossy accents just to highlight a little bit on each of those and I've also added some Nuvo drops there for some texture I've added a little charm some twine and ribbon there and then again, I've used papers from that paper pad and it just says life happens and coffee helps. So I thought this would be nice, you know, to add to a gift. You could buy, you know, a bag of coffee beans and have this little tag hanging off of it as a, you know, a nice little token gift to somebody. But again, you can see how lovely the images are and they're very, very detailed, really easy to colour. And again, I've just loved using, I, colour pencils are one of my favourites anyway, so I just find them very easy to use. But I think that's really, really sweet. So that's that one. Then my favourite is this one, it's just, oh, it's lovely, it's so, so cute. So this is the Village Bakery stamp set, so this is, I guess, the, the main one for the collection. You've got this gorgeous building here, and you have, like, there's the little open and close sign in the window, so you have a stamp there for open. Obviously, you could put something else in there or leave it blank if you wanted to. This Village Bakery stamps perfectly within this sign here, and then you've got Eek eat cake let's celebrate and it's your special day and then the tea shop stamps perfectly into the sign there to have outside the shop and then you also have a fence you've also got the dies there to cut out the main elements but my sample for this one is my favorite and I adore this look how cute so I've used the glossy accents in the window and on the top there as well and then I've stamped the image actually onto the box. So I scored it all and I made sure that this score line ran perfectly with this part of the building so that the roof went onto the top of this kind of milk carton box. Used distressed inks on everything, coloured the image, which I just think's very, very sweet. Even the lovely cakes in the window there. You can see I've stamped the tiny little open and then Village Bakery. This I've attached on the outside and then these on some foam pads. Just again, just to create a little bit of interest and then I've tied it up there with a bow. But as soon as you undo that inside and you could fill that with some, you know, like some shortbread or you could buy some, you know, inexpensive biscuits from the superstore and then pop it into here and, you know, how lovely is this packaging it's just very very sweet again if you were having a small party you could have these as little favors for everybody to be able to take home but um, i think it shows off that stamp 
really really well so that was my sample there and then we've got this one here which is the sweet favorite stamp set it's very very cute so you've got the slice of cake there on the plate with the cherry and the strawberries and everything and then a fork this is lovely this little topper for the cake with the kind of bunting no it's like yeah a banner just running through there and this it's your birthday can be stamped in there or you could pop something else in there if you want then you've got there's always room for cake you've got the single candle and then light can lights light candles action and then that beautiful cake there and then the dies again for the main ones but it's nice that they've got the candle as well so the sample for that one is this center step card that I've made so you can see how this one looks and then you can see the images that I've done side by side I've used all the glossy accents on the fruit and again just think it's very very sweet these are papers all from the paper pad and I've popped a doily in the background there this is a really nice fabric gingham bow it's just a really happy, very fresh card. And it just says, it's your birthday, but you could obviously have bigger sentiment and things like that if you want. And those yellow Nuvo drops, again, just for a little bit of texture. But I just thought it was so, I've just, I've got so like lost in making these samples. I really did have fun with it. And that's what it's about. It's certainly a very, it's a very happy stamp set and collection to kind of work with. So I've really enjoyed it. And then lastly, you've got this one here which is afternoon tea stamp set. So you have the stacked teacups there with this lovely flower like um, arrangement, you know, spray of flowers on the top there. Then you've got the macaroon, the lemon slice, and I guess some mint leaves. Then you've got some um, a tea, tea bag there. You've got hope your day is terrific, you're the sweetest. And then you've got that lovely, I have used all these, so they're obviously a bit darker and stained. You've got the lovely um, display kind of dome there glass dome with the macaroons and then you have your teapot and your teacup and saucer there as well and then that sample and I've made this pop-up box card so you can see how these look if I just bring it up close there you can see the glossy accents on the dome there with the macaroons macaroons macaron what do you say and then we've got the stacked teacups with the flowers and the little individual macaroons, macarons, tea bag there, love the teapot. And then I've popped the lemon slice on some foam, used that doily again, and some glossy accents. And again, there's lots of dimension on this card. And the papers again are all from that paper pad. I just think it looks lovely. So yeah, that is the newest collection. Let me just bring everything in so you can see it all and just how nice it looks together. I just wanted to show kind of different things. So you've got some packaging ideas and you've got the gift tag and then you've got a couple of cards there as well. But I just think it's so sweet. I love this idea of, you know, making a gift box or a gift bag and just stamping directly onto it. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> I've now got to post these off. I don't want to let this one go. I really just, I'm so, things like this, I just keep, I have a shelf and I kind of, just rotate things so things that I'm just really I just like looking at things that bring me joy I like to just keep on my shelf so I'm definitely going to be stamping and coloring this one again and probably making a replica of that but um, no doubt you'll see these all on craft stash and over on Hachanda when Claire launches the collection then as well so keep an eye out as always I'll link everything below hope you like my samples and uh, yeah check out the collection because there's some really really sweet designs so thank you for watching and I'll be back again soon with another tutorial bye